This is five must-have free apps for Windows PCs. Nico knows tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech. Number one channel with the news on check. Now in this video, I'm going to cover five free apps that I put on all of my machines and I think you should too. You can find links to all these apps in the description. Before we get started, check out our sponsor. Do all of your friends call you a loser for using a sus copy of Windows? Then stop being a zero and get ready to be a hero by getting a valid copy of Windows 10. With all the bells and whistles a future superstar like you needs, you might be thinking to yourself, Eh, Pro Edition costs $200, see? No. If you follow the link in the description to VIPCDKDeals.com, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Professional Edition for $22.50. Wow! You think that's great? Well, if you use coupon code NK25, you get 30% off. That brings the price of Windows 10 Professional to $15. Wow! All major payment methods accepted, including PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Once you have your license key, open Settings, then System, About, then Change Product Key. Simply copy and paste your new key and then click next and then you are Gucci, my friend. Now, if you've ever had to unzip or un-RAR a particular type of archive, such as a 7Z or an RAR file, particularly RAR files, you might have been told to get WinRAR, which is over here. And it's not exactly free. Sure, some features are free, but it's always going to annoy you with that pop-up telling you you need to register it. And all the features are available unless you purchase it for a good $30 here. I'm not going to recommend that. I use 7-Zip, which is a 100% open source program. It's 100% free and it has no privacy issues. And you can get it here at the link in description. All you do is pick one here. I'm gonna go ahead and download the EXE. And then you just run it and it's going to install. I have it right here, but the best part is, is I almost never open the main app. Whenever I need to deal with an archive, I'll just right click and right here, 7-zip is open for me here. So I can extract the files, extract here. So if I can extract files, it'll open it up. I can tell it where I should extract it. Click okay and then I can extract it and then it does it for me right there. The only negative thing I would say about 7-Zip is that when you are trying to create RAR files, it's not the fastest. But considering it's completely open source, it's lightweight, it has no security issues and it's not bugging you to pay for it, this is one I definitely recommend. The next app I recommend is BC Uninstaller or Bolt Crap Uninstaller. You can get it here at the link in description. This is a program that's going to let us properly uninstall anything that we want to remove, including a lot of junkware that might be on Windows that you want to get rid of. And it's just so fantastic. It doesn't leave traces behind. It's again free. And I'm just going to install it real quick. And it's immediately going to scan all my programs. I actually did a whole video on BC Uninstaller on how to use this to debloat your system. You can check it right up here. But I'm going to cover a little bit about it. But here, all I got to do, I can just continue through here. But if I go through here, I can see everything that's on the system. I can also hide published by Microsoft. If I don't want to touch anything from Microsoft, then you can just click hide that. You can show protected components. You do got to be careful. I should suggest you check my video out because you can break windows if you tell this to, to uh, show unregistered applications, uh, to show system components. But if you just stick with the basic without messing with a whole bunch of check marks here other than hide publish from Microsoft, you're fine. If you just check here, you want to uninstall something and I'll install this one here and you can click uninstall. You can uninstall quietly if you want to have it automatically click next, next, next for you. And the best part about uninstalling with BC Uninstaller is it's going to remove the registry entries, any kind of app data, all the leftovers that are left behind that can sometimes cause system instability or random pop-ups because that program left traces that are causing errors in Windows. So very effective. Gonna go ahead and uninstall this. It'll check if it's already running, continue, begin on installation. It creates a restore point. Just in case something goes wrong, you can go back to the way it was right before. So that's bullcrap uninstaller and I highly recommend that. A third app that I recommend is called Handbrake. If you've ever worked with video files and never been frustrated with having to have the right format or having something not coded right and having to fix it with an editor, no, this is gonna save your bacon. You can get it here at the link in description. I already have it open here. And this literally will let you convert whatever type of media file into another type of media file. I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And here I can choose all the different options. We can choose the format, and we can even choose from a preset. For example, this preset is 1080 at 30 frames per second. You can choose all of these different types of formats. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 720, 30 frames per second, and I'm gonna change it to an MKV. 
and all I have to do, I can choose it here where I'm going to save it. And I'm going to choose to save it on the desktop. And then I can do a starting code. However, there's something cool you can do here. You can also adjust the audio codex. You can change aspects with the video. We can raise the frame rates, the quality, add filters, and subtitles. You can hard code um, SRT files and other types of subtitles into your video file. You can do it all here. We're going to go ahead and start in code. And it's pretty quick too. This is much faster than using a video editor. Now the fourth recommended is Microsoft Office 3. I'm just kidding. Actually, I recommend LibreOffice. It's completely free, open source, and it does a lot of things more powerful than Microsoft Office. It is actually completely 100% um, compatible with Microsoft Office files. Whenever you're saving as, you can save it as a Win Microsoft Excel, for example. It's going to do its own format by default. However, you can change it to XLSX. Same thing with the writer. This is essentially Microsoft Word, but it's LibreOffice. This is similar to OpenOffice, but I prefer this one. If you'd like to hear about OpenOffice, check my friend Scott's page. It's he runs Ask Your Computer Guy, a good friend of the channel. You can check him up right up here. And he'll talk about OpenOffice. I use LibreOffice, which includes everything you need as far as an office suite. I'll go down here to where it's installed. And I have Base, which is Microsoft Access, Calc, which is like Excel, Draw. We have Impress, which I think is like OneNote. I don't use it. And then we have Math and we have Writer. You can check it all out, the link in description, and read all about it here. But it's a full service office suite and it's 100% free. And last but not least, I recommend Rufus. Rufus is a lightweight imaging tool which lets you burn image files such as Windows installations and Linux and all types of things into a bootable USB flash drive. You can get it here at the link in description. When you open it up, it's really simple. You'll first plug in your USB drive, then you'll select it here. I have mine selected. And then here, under boot selection, we're going to select the image. I'm going to select a Windows image I have here. And then we can choose the image option. Here is where we can actually create a portable Windows operating system if you do it this way. I actually made a whole video on how to make a portable Windows operating system. You can check it out up here. And if you don't have that selected, you can also choose FreeDOS right built in without downloading anything extra. You can make a portable MS-DOS on your flash drives. It'll work on pretty much every computer. Once you have it all selected, you can choose the partition scheme here. In this case, it would be MBR. It might be GPT for you, but either way. And then you'll click Start, and then you've burned your bootable flash drive. It's that simple. I highly recommend Rufus. I use it every single day. And along this one with Etcher, which I'll leave a link for that too. But Rufus is really easy for everyone to use and it has a lot of useful tools that uh, Etcher doesn't have. I use both, but I highly recommend it. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Tell me about it in the comment section. What are your favorite apps to put on Windows machines? I really like to hear about it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and even support me on Patreon, and I will see you next time.